When cold temperatures freeze up part of Lake Superior, they create ice bridges that impact the environment at Isle Royal National Park. ABC 10's Keweenaw Bureau reporter Sam Ali visited the headquarters in Houghton to find out what effects the ice bridges have had on the wolf population. Even in the frigid temperatures, the folks at Isle Royal National Park are hard at work researching the environment of the island that sits 56 miles off the coast of the Keweenaw Peninsula. A crew is currently there right now, and Natural Resources Chief Paul Brown says they are doing a lot of work out there. Uh, Isle Royal has lots of research relative to wildlife management and the uh, island ecosystem. So there's research that goes on about snakes, about fish, about uh, all kinds of mammals, uh, wolves and moose being the, the most prominent and most highly recognized and well-known. Michigan Tech biologist Rolf Peterson reported earlier this week that one of the few remaining gray wolves was found dead after it escaped to the mainland. Brown says ice bridges sometimes lead to problems like this, but they are vital to the population as well. Ice bridges are the main means of uh, immigration and emigration, so coming to or from the island for the wolf population. And so uh, the presence of an ice bridge allows animals to come to the island, and it also allows animals to leave the island. And the wolf population has been taking a hit in the last five years. Only eight remained in 2013, the smallest count since scientists began observing the island's wolves in the 1950s. There were 24 wolves on the island in 2008, but Brown says it's natural fluctuation. The population of wolves and, for that matter, all wildlife on the island uh, fluctuates over time. Uh, it's an island ecosystem, and so things are uh, fairly dynamic. For more information on the wolf research that is done on the island, head to the Visitor's Center in Houghton or visit their website at ioroyalwolf.org. For ABC 10 CW5 News Now, I'm Sam Ali.